I'm afraid I do not uh, understand. <laughs> there are men in this Pueblo whom I do not trust. A woman, she... Well, she, uh, she could be swept off her feet by a dashing and handsome young man. But you, Diego, I know you. I trust you. I'm the kind most uh, generally thought of as a brother. I appreciate the Capitan's confidence in me, and I shall do my best. Gracias. I will send for you at the earliest possible minute. As soon as I find a place for you to stay. It is time, Capitan. I leave you in charge, Sergeant. Remember our discussion. Let nothing turn you from the path of duty. See, si, Commandante. Drive on. One moment, senores. Your baggage has not been inspected. Corporal, inspect the baggage. See, I will see what I can see. What is the meaning of this? It is necessary, senor. I am instructed to inspect all baggage. What is your name, senor? Salvador Quintana from Monterrey. And yours? Enrique Fuentes. How long do you expect to remain here? I do not know. If all goes well, I may be here sometime. If all went well, senor, this would not be Los Angeles. <laughs> what is your business here? We purchased the inn and come here to run it. I see. And how long do you expect... You have purchased the inn and the tavern also, where they serve the best wine in all... Welcome to Los Angeles, senores. I am Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia, acting Comandante of the Pueblo, at your service. Corporal, what are you doing opening up their baggage out here in all this dust and dirt? The set <laughs> We will show these two senores to the tavern and to the inn. Uh, the inspection can come later. I will be happy to show you about the tavern personally. I have been there many times. I can imagine it. <laughs> the corporal will be happy to bring the bags. Will you follow me, senores? Please? Do you think it is right, Diego? My husband should be moved about like a pawn in a chess game, treated like a common soldier. Is he merely a puppet on a string? Has he no more choice than a horse that is bridled and saddled for someone else to ride? No, senora, you should not speak that way. He is a soldier and has his duty. And he has his pride. I do not think the Capitan finds the situation unbearable. I am not speaking of the Capitan. I am speaking of his wife. Look at this. Is this a home? Someday, Diego, when you come to see me, you will find that things have... Excuse me. Another urgent message for the Comandante. The Comandante has already left for San Diego, but I will see this which is the acting Comandante. Gracias, Senora. It is most urgent. Senora, I uh, just saw Sergeant Garcia go into the tavern. Uh, if this is an urgent message, perhaps I should get him for you. Would you please, Diego? It is good of you. Message, Sergeant. It is for you as acting Comandante. Gracias, Senora. It has been pleasant visiting with you, Diego, but now if you'll excuse me, I think I will go and see if I can get a little more settled in my new quarters. Why, certainly. The pleasure has been all mine. Good news, Sergeant? See, si. they have found all of the... They have found all of the what, Sergeant? Well, they have found all of the... I do not know what you are talking about, Don Diego. Is it the uh, missing gunpowder they have found? 
Shh, that is a military secret. Well, everyone I meet is talking about it. Who is there in California who does not know this? That is just what I'm trying to tell you. It is a military secret. We do not want the soldiers to find out. Well, at any rate, it is good to know that it has been recovered. See, it is also good to know that I no longer have to stop all vehicles and search all passengers at the pass. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, Don Diego, look at this. Now, how fancy they get nowadays. One color of ink for the message, another color of ink for the address. Wait a minute, Sergeant. Are you sure this message is uh, genuine? I mean, uh, could the courier have been bribed to bring uh, false orders? Well, I suppose he... See? And if someone wanted to smuggle gunpowder into Los Angeles, uh, would it not be convenient to have you stop the inspections? Don Diego, with all the trouble in the world, why do you have to find more? Uh, it's just a wild thought, Sergeant, but... Uh... You might find it interesting to uh, compare the handwriting with any previous official document, uh, just to see if it is really the same. Now, if you'll excuse me, Sergeant. Maybe it's all a false alarm. I don't know how long we should wait here. Besides, it will soon be sundown. It's a little odd, isn't it? Who would send an armed man to watch a load of hay? Yes, Bernardo, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I would like to take a look underneath that hay. Wait here, but be ready, just in case it's a trap. Easy with the gun. What is that you have in the wagon? Well, you can see. Just a load of hay. And I'm God for a load of hay? Well, he is a poor ranchero. He wants no trouble. In that case, drop the gun on the ground and let me inspect the wagon. It is just a load of hay, but you are welcome to inspect it. Senor, which hand do you choose? Now get over there on the other side of the wagon. Move! You two, over there. Drop the gun. <laughs> 